So after all the students have logged in, enroll into the course, so make sure you have all the students. Just go to participant. Okay, check the list of the name of the student. And of course, you can download the list of the students. But it's not from here, but it's to go to the gradebook. Go to export. Excel spreadsheet. Okay. Just click submit. Just download the file. Okay, then just save it. Then just open the file. Okay. And then double check this, okay, with the list of the student that register to the course, okay, the list that you obtain from the SMP. So after you have confirmed you have all the student enrolled to the course, the next thing you can do is to create the group for of students so remember in some of the assignment you will make it as a group assignment so this is now where when we want to create a group okay to define the student group so we need to go back to the course main page just go to administration block users groups just click on it okay so here i have made uh, some group already okay so the first thing you have to do is to create group okay so now you can see this is the name of the group in the bracket is number of students okay. so first you need to create the group so the first thing you have to do okay is to create group Write the group name, any name, okay, and then click save. Okay. So let's say, see, this is a group that I made. So the next thing you need to do is to add a user. So if you allow the student to form their own group, then you need to do this. So you need to select the group where you want to add the user, click add and or remove user. Now you can see the list of students. You can select which student that you want to in, in, put in this group. And then click Add. And then back to the group. So you, you can repeat this until you have complete all the group, making the group for all the students. So it might seem it's very time consuming if you have a very large, you have, you have a lot of the students in a class. But I will suggest you to not to do it by yourself, but rather during the class, during the uh, break, short break during the class or before the class start or after the class has ended, the, during the first day when you enter uh, to, to your lectures. Open this, okay, and then ask the student to do this for you. Okay, so each group member leader have to come out and then just add their own group member in, into the group. So this is how you can create group manually. Okay. So if you want to remove any group member, you just select the, the group. Okay. And then select the name of the student. Then just click add and remove. Okay. Select. And then remove. so you can back to the group so this is how you do it manually of course you can do the auto create group okay so that means that you don't have to predefine the number of the group you just click order create group and then just 
decide whether you want to create a group based on the number of group or num members per group. Okay, and then put a number. So if you select number of group, okay, and uh, here you put two, that means that they will divide the students into two groups. Okay, if you select member per group and you put five, then they will divide all the students into the uh, specific number of group and each group will not more than five students. So the, they will, in this case, either you define the number of group, let the system uh, do the grouping, okay, with a flexible number of member or you you fix a number of members and then let the system to create the, num the group number for you okay so after you have decide and then just create submit okay so that's all how you can create the group